crisp MLQ and crisp DN. This is the standard process or development lifecycle steps that we follow for implementation of a machine learning model. The primary difference between these two is quality checks. The second step would be continuous integration and continuous development. The third step is monitoring or support you can see, right? So monitoring and maintenance. This is basically for supporting of your model once the solution is productionized because data drift happens and there will be definitely a skew in the model's performance. So that, that aspect is not being captured. And um, we, we discussed about how these aspects are implemented. And these implementations basically are by following MLOps standards. <laughs> when I say MLOps standards, it's basically uh, considering the productionizing aspect, right? considering how you want to uh, implement your model and uh, after deployment, what are the various steps that you'll have to consider? Those aspects were actually considered when the model is, is basically being developed. From the initial stages, we will have to keep these points in mind for your development. And we have seen how the flow varies when you're developing your model without or with machine learning uh, operation standards. And uh, here, the most important thing that we need to look at is rather than saving the trained model for deployment, we will have to save the pipeline, the flow, the sequence of steps that we need to implement. This is to ensure that the model is automatically retraining and upskilling itself for continuous integration and continuous development. <laughs> so pipeline concept comes into the picture and uh, these pipelines are basically coming into the picture for CIC. <clears throat> and here we are also talking about the packaging. So your code should be packaged so that you can reuse it irrespective of the data that you are actually following uh, flowing into the system. Pipeline is nothing but the sequence of steps that we are basically trying to apply on your um, model development on, on your data. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so these are uh, the primary differences that we have looked at and the key words that you need to remember from all these discussion points is code repository, the, um, the flow, that is your machine learning model, development life cycle steps, that is CRISP MLQ, um, retraining, CI, CD. Uh, you also have to talk about packaging, And um, what else? <clears throat> okay, these are some of the things that I can immediately think of. These are all new terminologies, right? Success criteria, uh, quality. These are all new terminologies that we will have to now consider from a machine learning model implementation perspective. So if you are a machine learning engineer, ML engineer, these are all new terminologies for you. And uh, in order to implement these steps, right? So when I say these steps, we, we are trying to follow. What is this? Yeah, this one. In order to implement this uh, flow, <clears throat> we need certain tools because 
when you're trying to develop a machine learning model, we generally use very, very um, right basic Python code and all that. But um, designing this flow in Python becomes a uh, very cumbersome uh, project in itself. So we need certain tools or standards which allow us to follow this. And those tools are nothing but your MLOps tools. So a lot of companies are coming up with uh, automated steps for doing all this uh, implementation. And uh, there are two, again, uh, important aspects, friends. From a machine learning terminology perspective, I'll try and explain it. A machine learning model development is very, very much depending on data. Right? Everything is depending on data. And using this data, we train the model. Right? And this becomes your ML model. So retraining will give you probably different results. Updating your data will again give you different results. So this is basically the flow. So in this particular MLOps um, standards, you will have to look at how the training process is varying with respect to data. So you'll have to focus on data. And after training, you'll get ML model. How those ML models are varying. So these are two things that you'll have to keep a check on. So from this perspective, you will have data validation, data versioning, data uh, feature engineering, EDA, right? All these aspects come into uh, this picture, which are basically allowing us to monitor the drift in data, changes in data. With respect to models, retrained models versions right uh, there could be a number of different versions so whatever is registered for your final usage those models will be compared this is basically the model drift perspective so model registry will also be there which is again automatically <clears throat> your models will the tools will uh, register these models and then try to do the comparison so once, once you are having these data batch versions maintained and the models versions maintained, you will be able to generate reports and do the comparison. Okay. This will capture us with respect to the drifts in the models and drifts in the data. <clears throat> 